Maiden. Thank you, Madam Chair, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. The climate community is pleased to see climate change taking a central spot in the post-2015 development agenda. For the first time at this high level, it is clearly stated that climate change can undermine all development objectives and that we will not eliminate extreme poverty unless climate change is addressed. This is confirmed by a recent report by the Overseas Development Institute, which says that as we approach the goal of eliminating extreme poverty by 2030, climate change will throw 720 million individuals back into extreme poverty. To avoid this, as climate change is integrated into all aspects of this global agenda, the same way it also has to be integrated into all national processes. Governments must internalize climate risk into all aspects of our development and economic sectors. The post-2015 development agenda outcome links this process with the climate negotiations under the UNFCCC and for good reason. The whole development agenda will be fundamentally undermined if we do not achieve a meaningful climate outcome in Paris. A meaningful climate outcome for civil society is an agreement that provides a strong long-term vision for the decarbonization of the global economy, accompanied by a regular ramping up of short-term climate action and the provision of support needed to achieve this goal. Decarbonization of the world economy is not that hard, and it is already happening. City after city and company after company are committing to 100% renewable energy before or by the middle of the century. More than 400 institutions and 2,000 individuals have divested $2.6 trillion from fossil fuels and smart investors are switching to renewable energy. Different studies and analysis have repeatedly shown the economic feasibility of such a transition. For example, the Greenpeace 100% Renewable Energy Report released this week. The post-2015 development agenda pledges not to leave anyone behind. We urge you governments not to be left behind and accelerate the transition your citizens, cities, and businesses that are already driving and demanding. Thank you.